In this problem, we're going to use the chemical formula and the mole concept to calculate the number of moles of sodium in 8.3 grams of sodium phosphate. The first thing we need to do is go to our periodic table and calculate the formula mass of sodium phosphate. When we do this, we find we get an answer of 163.91 AMU. Remember that the formula mass and the molar mass of a substance are numerically equal. They differ only in their units. So since the formula mass of sodium phosphate is 163.91 AMU, that means the molar mass of sodium phosphate is 163.91 grams per mole. This number can be used as a conversion factor between the grams of sodium phosphate and the number of moles of sodium phosphate. We now need to find a conversion factor between the number of moles of sodium and the number of moles of sodium phosphate. Take a look at the chemical formula for sodium phosphate. Notice you have a subscript 3 corresponding to sodium. That means that there are 3 moles of sodium in 1 mole of sodium phosphate. Whenever you have a chemical formula, those subscripts become the mole ratio of the atoms in that compound. So now we have a conversion factor between moles of sodium and moles of sodium phosphate. We have two conversion factors. We're going to use two steps to solve this problem. And the conceptual plan that we will use is as follows. We will first convert grams of sodium phosphate to moles of sodium phosphate. We're going to use the molar mass of sodium phosphate to do that. Then we're going to convert from moles of sodium phosphate to moles of sodium using our second conversion factor that there are three moles of sodium in one mole of sodium phosphate. Since we're working with two conversion factors, we're going to need two sets of parentheses. And we'll start with our given measured quantity of 8.3 grams of sodium phosphate. In our first step, we want to convert from grams of sodium phosphate to moles of sodium phosphate. So we'll use moles of sodium phosphate in the numerator and grams of sodium phosphate in the denominator. This will allow the units of grams of sodium phosphate to cancel. In our second step, we want to convert from moles of sodium phosphate to moles of sodium. So we'll use the units of moles of sodium in the numerator and the unit of moles of sodium phosphate in the denominator. This will allow the units of moles of sodium phosphate to cancel, giving us a final unit of moles of sodium. Now let's plug in the numerical values associated with each unit. Remember from the molar mass, one mole of sodium phosphate is 163.91 grams of sodium phosphate. And from our second conversion factor dealing with the chemical formula, there are three moles of sodium and one mole of sodium phosphate. Notice that the units cancel out, leaving us with a final unit of moles of sodium. When we perform the mathematical operation, we get a calculator answer of 0.151912 moles of sodium. Taking into account the rules for significant figures, we round our answer to 0.15 moles of sodium.